In this simulation, we have a colorimeter with some cuvettes, a variable volume auto pipette, a series of 10 test tubes, disposable pipettes, iron solutions, deionized water, some reagents, and a beaker. To begin, you must prepare all of the required solutions for your analysis. The table on the top left of your screen can be used to keep track of the various volumes of solution components required to make up your blank and the six standard solutions. You can begin preparing the solutions by filling the beaker on the bench top with water by clicking on the water bottle. Next, you can use the variable volume auto pipette by clicking it to remove it from the rack. You can then click on it to manually set the volume that the pipette will draw. Next, you can click on the solution that you'd like to draw and follow the instructions to draw up the solution. Click on the desired test tube and the pipette will move to that tube. Then you can click on the pipette to dispense your solution. Continue in this fashion until you've dispensed all of the appropriate amounts of the water and iron solution. Once you've completed preparing your standards, you can add 10 mils of each unknown to tubes 8, 9, and 10, respectively. Next, add 5 drops of acetate buffer to every tube. This can be done by clicking the acetate buffer bottle and then clicking the desired tube. Then click the dropper five times. The dropper will return to the bottle automatically. Next, add five drops of NH2OH to every tube using the exact same procedure. Finally, add 10 drops of phenanthrolene to every tube using the same procedure. Now you can add a cover to each tube by clicking on them. Next you can shake them by choosing the option from the menu when you click on them. With all of this finished, you can artificially advance time by 15 minutes by clicking on the Advanced Time button on the bottom left of your screen. This will allow the reactions to complete. At this point, you're ready to start measuring the absorbance. Fill the cuvette with water by clicking on it and then add it to the colorimeter. Close the lid by clicking on it and hit the Cal button. The instrument will calibrate automatically and the lid will open, removing the cuvette. Now you're ready to take an absorbance measurement of your other solutions. To do this, you'll need to select an optimal wavelength to use for this experiment. This can most effectively be done using the solution from test tube 7, which is the most concentrated in iron and therefore the darkest. First click on the disposable pipettes on the shelf to select one. Then click on the test tube you'd like to read the absorbance for. Click the pipette again to draw up the solution and click the clean cuvette to dispense this solution into it. Once the solution is in the cuvette, you can place it in the colorimeter by clicking on it. Click the lid of the colorimeter to start the absorbance reading process. Take note of the absorbance on the digital readout next to the colorimeter. To collect the absorbance reading for another wavelength, you just need to click on the arrow button on the front of the colorimeter. Take note of the new wavelength and the new absorbance reading. Repeat this for each of the four available wavelengths and when you're finished, you can then select the optimal wavelength to use for the remainder of the experiment. To construct your calibration curve, you'll need to record the absorbance of each of your standard solutions. Empty the second cuvette by clicking on it and then select a disposable pipette from the shelf to draw up the next solution from its test tube. 
Place that solution in the cuvette by clicking on it and insert into the colorimeter to take your next absorbance reading. Then you can remove the cuvette and empty it and get a new disposable pipette to draw up the next solution until you've completed measuring the absorbance for all of your standard solutions. You can measure the absorbance of each of your three unknown solutions in exactly the same way. By creating a calibration curve using your standard solutions, you'll be able to determine the concentration of each of your unknowns.